Hey guys, Jeff Ford, Power Speed Endurance, back at you for another Two Minute Tuesday. This week we're still with what runners typically say. Don't know if you guys have heard this one, but hey, I've got to replace my shoes every 300 to 500 miles. I've got to make sure that I'm in uh, the proper footwear so that I don't get injured. Um, too often we sort of fall for this hype that's surrounding shoes. You know, it's that next big model that comes out that's really going to A, improve my performance, B, make me look cooler, or C, help me not get injured anymore. Well, three main points here. Number one, this is a $3 billion industry backed by very, very little science, okay? There's no proven research that shows that orthotics or a certain stability shoe is actually going to prevent injury. Uh, the second thing we need to realize with shoes is that when we strap in to a shoe that is very uh, built up, it literally removes the proprioception that we're able to gather from the ground. So uh, learning to hit proper positions is always number one, like we talked about in week one, that the mechanics are truly going to dictate injury. Uh, a great cutting edge doctor out of um, Ohio, Dr. Nick Campitelli, uh, he's sort of leading the charge in not, pres uh, not prescribing orthotics. 99.9% .9 of the time, he really doesn't see it ne necessary. So it's sort of this switch that we need to make looking at the long game and not just that short-term band-aid of getting us into something that's going to restrict our, our movement, where long-term it will not benefit us, it'll only whittle away at that arch uh, and not do uh, wonderful things to your Achilles tendon. Um, so how do you make the transition? Um, when you're making the transition, it needs to be gradual. If you're in a you know 10 plus millimeter drop shoe, number one is that you want to slowly decrease the drop of your shoe. What that means is that heel to toe differential, whether you're you know kicking around on the streets or you're out running, we've got to get you out of that built up shoe. The second thing is you want to apply some foot strengthening. Uh, so different drills you can do. Walking barefoot is the simplest way to go about it. Um, maybe just to build back up that arch that you've lost from being in a, a bigger shoe. And the third thing you've got to pay attention to as you're making the transition is your lower leg tissue. Lots, lots of soft tissue therapy. Keep the plantar fascia loose uh, and pay attention to those feet. Um, don't overdo this. Don't jump into it too quick. Just know that shoes are not going to be your ultimate uh, injury saver. My name is Jeff Ford, Power Speed Endurance. We'll see you back here next week for another Two Minute Tuesday.